Hi everyone, you're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajomko and here's your afternoon political update for Tuesday, June 1st. Israeli President Netanyahu canceled his upcoming meeting with U.S. officials to deal with a recent crisis on the high seas. Yesterday, forces stormed a convoy of ships that broke through a blockade and at least 10 people died in the incident. Israeli forces are still detaining hundreds of people who refuse to identify themselves. The men and women are mostly activists who are taking wheelchairs and water supplies to the Gaza Strip. Heading to the States, President Obama met with leaders of a panel he created to look into the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. He said they will not let up in their efforts until the spill is stopped. This after BP's latest top kill strategy to cap the oil leak has been deemed a failure. The company has already spent nearly $1 million trying to fix the leak. It's a major victory in the fight against terrorism. U.S. officials say they killed al-Qaeda's third in command in an airstrike. The militant group has confirmed the death by posting the news on several websites. The leader was said to be al-Qaeda's top financial chief. And a Mexican judge issued an arrest warrant for a reality star producer. Bruce Beers Ford Redman left the country after being named a key suspect in his wife's death. The former producer of Survivor maintains that he is innocent. And that's your afternoon political update for Tuesday, June 1st. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for continuing updates throughout the day.